Hi, so the gasifier is actually complete and what I'm going to do is fire it up. Now it is half past eight, so it's a bit late tonight to do it. So what I thought I would do was do it tomorrow. However, it's not what I wanted to discuss. What I wanted to discuss with you was um, this thing and these, these aluminum welding rods. Now in the earlier experiment, we actually made this Tesla turbine and we're gonna use that Tesla turbine as the pump, but it is obviously a little bit sort of stretched out really and then, I came across this thing, which is a 12-volt pan pancake motor and actually quite powerful. I really liked it, so I remade the whole blower, and that's obviously what I've been doing. That slots onto the exit pipe, that's where the gas comes out. Like I say, tomorrow I'll be putting that on and running the gasifier. But I made this whole thing out of fabricated aluminium using that aluminium welding rod, and you might notice it's actually really quite big. And there are two things to notice about it. One is the size of it, and two, the aluminium welding here is quite ropey. But here, on these larger areas, it's actually quite beautiful. And I found that I was working with that thing, that to use this aluminium welding rod successfully on large areas or large pieces of aluminium is in fact quite difficult. Because of course what you need to do is get heat into the aluminium. You need to get it hot enough to melt this rod so that this rod combines with the aluminium plate and forms that weld. If the aluminium's big or um, a large area or quite large chunky pieces, it's extraordinarily difficult to get the heat into the aluminium. And so what you get is the welding rod kind of making lumps and crystals and it, it takes forever to actually do it. And, and that's what was happening here. Now, it's not very critical here, so I've just left it. But while I was working with it, I was thinking about that and how we might overcome it. And these larger areas were made like this. And what this is, is a hot plate. And that piece of aluminium is sitting on that hot plate, getting hot, obviously. Now, it doesn't get hot enough to actually melt the rod, but it gets hot enough to put heat into the structure. Now, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of steel around it, keeping it into shape. And there were other things that I did with this. When I made the pipes, I used some stainless steel wire that I tightened the pipes up with so that the pipes held their shape. So I built the shape using support steel and twisted wire to hold the whole thing together, then put it onto a hot plate to get sufficient heat into the aluminium structure that I'd made so that the whole aluminium structure was just at the edge of being able to melt this rod. It can't do it. If I actually just put that on there, there's not enough heat there to actually melt the rod. So what you do then is add a tiny bit of additional heat with a blowtorch. That tiny bit of additional heat plus the extra heat that we put into it from the hot plate is sufficient to melt the rod and do a very nice job. So I'm going to give you a close-up of that. And when you've actually applied the weld, all you do is leave it to cool down naturally. And it does a beautiful, strong job. I mean, that's a really very neat weld there. I'm really quite pleased with that, actually. It's astonishing how neat it is. So you clean the aluminium like you're supposed to. Give it a going over with a stainless steel brush. Arrange the structure that you want to make with enough support. So a supporting blocks, twisted wire, enough support. Preheat the structure and then it's that easy to weld it. Even if the thing is large or thick or heavy duty aluminium, you can weld up some absolutely beautiful things. And obviously that's how I made the bulk of this. So that's a large piece of equipment that's been done with that aluminium welding technique. And that preheating seems to be the key to it. If you do a little bit of preheating, you're going to do a nice job. 
Anyway, I wanted to share that with you because <laughs> it was a little bit of pain to find that out. So I thought I would share it with you and hopefully you won't have to go through the same pain that I went through. Tomorrow, we'll actually get that gasifier up and running and that's kind of cool. But that is a really handy technique and I really wanted to share it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.